Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org. Enjoy. The Bible says that the devil, our enemy, is an accuser of our brothers day and night. Turn to Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. Revelation 12, 10, read. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation. Now. Now. Not then. Right now. Here come the black man of America, salvation. Salvation. Preservation of deliverance from destruction difficulty or evil salvation a person or thing that saves rescues or preserves salvation the protecting or saving of someone or something from harm or loss the realization of the supremacy of infinite mind over all, bringing with it the destruction of the illusion of sin, death, and destruction. Salvation, liberation from ignorance or illusion, deliverance from danger or difficulty, salvation, redemption, liberation, deliverance, emancipation, release, escape, rescue, salvation, rebirth, restoration, protection, safety, security, and immunity, salvation. And I'm sure you find it astonishing that someone can be in my presence for years and not understand my message. But on the other hand, you shouldn't be astonished because it is already written who would come to me. Job tells you all about it. Job chapter 2 verses 1 through 6 lays it out real beautifully that when the sons of Yahweh would come to present themselves to me, Satan would also come. Your trouble is knowing the tares that look just like the wheat. Evidently the sons didn't know who Satan was, but Yahweh did. The sons of Yahweh must have mistaken Satan for one of them. Because the sons didn't ask any questions. Sons came and Satan came too. He was disguised and hidden from them. So it is with those who come here who are black and nappy-headed and look like you. And they say, praise Yahweh ben Yahweh. And you who are my sons and daughters can't tell the ones that are not. That's why you'd be shocked when they pull out. My sons and daughters can't leave me. You can't pay my sons and daughters to leave me, no amount of money or anything. <laughs> Praise God. Glory. Glory. Satan has to come. He comes with you, looking like you. I told you on the interview that you can't tell who Satan is by color. Lucifer was black. Snake doesn't like moral behavior. You don't even like it. 
And when I invite you snakes to get out, why don't you vipers get away from me? You know why they won't go? Who wants to know why these black snakes won't leave? They know that you're going to heaven and they don't want you to go. They want to bite you. They want to poison your mind to keep you from going. Praise Yahweh. A serpent is a skillful fella. He's a deceptive fella. That's why Yahweh painted him as a snake. You go out in the bush and the snake looks like the terrain. Whatever he's around, that's what he looks like. You have to be aware of snakes to be looking for him to even spot him. Are all the snakes in here? No, they're all over the, your community, all over America. Everyone who's telling you, you shouldn't go down there. You mean you going down there? You gonna be a part of that cult? Man, I thought you had more sense than that. Are you gonna let that man brainwash you? Those are snakes too. They read what I write. They reject what I write. And when they see you like what I write, they say, oh wow, there's one that's gonna be a ruler. He looks like a son of Yahweh. Let me bite his mind, poison her mind, so she won't be a part of Yahweh. Don't you go down there. Your mother is your snake sometimes. Your daddy and your brother and your sister and your husband and your wife and your children are your snakes sometimes. Your so-called friends are your snakes sometimes. Read Revelation 12, 10. Read. Now is your salvation. This time, right now, this night, this day. This is your salvation. I am your salvation, and the devil knows it. Why else would the devil come to me? I'm still here doing my work as it's prophesied. Now is your salvation. Read. Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God, Yahweh, and the power... Hold it, hold it, hold it. See what it's come? Now is come your salvation. Me. Now is come your strength. You have not had the strength to resist Satan until I am come. Now you have strength to resist Satan when you look at me herald of death. When you look at the all-powerful snake charmer, snake handler, because I created a snake. I ought to know how to handle it. Revelation 12, 10. I'm your strength. Now has come your strength. Your salvation. And what? Now it come the kingdom of God. The kingdom of Yahweh. When your salvation comes, the kingdom of Yahweh comes with him. When your strength comes, the kingdom of Yahweh comes with him. Read. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation. This is a loud voice. It's so loud these devils cannot stay away from me. My voice is so loud they're coming to me all over America trying to talk to me. Read it again. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God Yahweh and the power of his son Yahweh. Hold, hold it, hold it. See what I got? What do those devils see me with? What has these devils upset that I have? Power. See, they're upset with several things, four things I have right there. They're upset because I have salvation, I have strength, I have the kingdom of Yahweh with me, and I have power. See what they're coming up against? They're coming up against the one who has the power is who? The son, Yahweh ben Yahweh. Yahweh ben Yahweh has the power. 
Yahweh ben Yahweh has the kingdom of Yahweh. Yahweh ben Yahweh has strength. Yahweh ben Yahweh has salvation. Look what Yahweh ben Yahweh has. Read. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Now, see what's happening? In the now. When Yahweh, when the son of Yahweh comes with power, salvation, strength, and the kingdom of Yahweh, at that time, in his coming, the accuser is cast down. And I beheld till the throne were cast down. That's it. And I am the ancient of days, and I am definitely going to stick. What is an accuser? Accuse. To charge someone or something with a shortcoming or error. See? Accuse. To bring charges against someone for a misdeed. The only purpose of the accuser is to charge you with misdeed. No other purpose for coming. In the book, it says they brought him before Pilate. Pilate questioned him, and he ended up saying, I find no fault with this man. Notice the devil, nowhere in the interview, is dealing with the authenticity of what I teach. Where I went to school is not the issue. The issue is I have come to you, my people, saying you are chosen to be the ruler forever. As the tribe of Judah, you, so-called black men of America, are Hebrew Israelites. That is your nationality. That's the issue. The issue is your name is not Johnson and Smith, Culpepper, Roundtree, and Overtown, Underwood, Blueberry. The issue is your name is Israel. And any name other than Israel for you is an abomination. That's the issue. The issue is your culture, your history, and your language is Hebrew. That's the issue. The issue is you're the nation of Israel. You're the children of the Most High, Yahweh, by blood, flesh, and bone. That's the issue. The issue is you have a land, all of North Africa, a small part that's called Israel today. It's just a piece of it. That's the issue. The issue is America is not our home. The issue is we must be set free and allowed to leave America and be restored as our nation Israel. That's the issue. The issue is there's not another man in America teaching your redemption, salvation, and reformation but me. Then who am I? I tell you who I am, Yahweh ben Yahweh. But she's going back to accuse me of being a slave. She's going to write, the, the real man behind Yahweh ben Yahweh is this slave name. If I was still a slave, there would be no issue about me bringing you freedom. But is that the issue? That's not going to save anybody. What's the devil about? Accusing me of what? Misdeed. Come on. Accuse. To make an accusation against someone. All right, look up accusation and then misdeed. Accusation. An act of accusing. An allegation. Allegations, they always say alleged. Alleged means it may or may not be true. No proof at all. Accuse a person without proof. Only a devil will do that. 
Come on. A formal charge brought before a court against a person stating that he is guilty of some punishable offense. That is what they're doing to me. And their court is public opinion. And when you put something in black and white that is not true and unverifiable, it is a formal charge before the court of public opinion. Go ahead. Look up misdeed and then allege. Misdeed, a wicked immoral or illegal deed. See what the devil has come to do? Accuse of misdeed. To accuse me of wickedness. To accuse me of immorality. Huh? What a devil. The teacher of righteousness is suffering an enemy to come among us to ask me questions, not for our righteousness sake, but to accuse us, to put in black and white, to put in print. Wow. Assassinate my character in the minds of the public. You that fall for it, Good. I think it's wonderful. If it makes you weak, great. I think it's fabulous. But you that are chosen will come through all of this and we'll all be standing on Mount Zion together. All of this shall pass. All right, let's read this again now. Revelation 12, 10. Let's go right on down and finish this. Read. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God Yahweh and the power of his son Yahweh ben Yahweh. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God Yahweh day and night. No rest from the accuser. 24 hours a day, I am to be accused. So are you. Now, Revelation 12 and about 5 tells you the propaganda that's coming, as if a flood. 15, Revelation 12, 15 and 16. Let's read. And the serpent cast out of his mouth. Now, check out the serpent. The devil. He's going to bring out of her mouth. Read. Water as a flood after the woman. Uh -huh. Water as a flood means propaganda, accusation, false propaganda like a flood. A flood is a crisis. A flood is in abundance. A flood is destructive. A flood overflows. These devils are going to be writing about me big time. Be aware it's finally here. They're going to have a flood of propaganda all over America. It's going to be coming. And it seems like it cooled down. They're going to come again and, and come and come and just a flood of it you just got to look for it 
See, I have to do uh, John 16, 13 to prepare you for things to come. And it's supposed to start where I am. See, a, a providence with honor in this own country, so in the city in which I live, that's where they're supposed to get down. Come on. That he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. I am that woman bringing forth the son who is to rule the world with a rod of iron. You are that son. I'm the woman bringing you into the knowledge to make you the ruler of the world. So the serpent is upset. But all the serpent can do to me is bring out a flood of propaganda out of their mouth. Don't be trying to touch me and carry on. So they're limited to come out with the mouth. But it's coming like a flood. Come on. And the earth helps the woman. The earth is going to help me. The earth is the people. The people are going to help me. The people of earth are going to help me as this happens. Come on. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. There it is. Did we say verse 16? And uh, it told you that she hoped that I would be carried away of the flood. That was 15. The desire is for me to be carried away. Read 15 again. Read. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Got it? Hoping the false propaganda would carry me away out of the sight of the people of the earth and hope I would drown in the flood and be no more. That can't work. Those whom Yahweh has put in my hand, no flood can wash you out. After the flood, you'll be right in my hand. Praise Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh is glorious and wonderful. And I hope you've enjoyed the night, and I'm sure we are well prepared for the devil's best shot.